You know, when you look at the Apostle Paul, you don't see a pragmatist, hardly. He says to the Corinthians, I am determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Wow, that's a pretty narrow message. So uh, whenever he showed up in a situation, it was about Christ and it was about Christ crucified and consequently Christ raised from the dead. He says, I didn't come to you in the wisdom of a man. I didn't come to you with any human cleverness or ingenuity. I came, I preached Christ crucified and Christ risen. So the focus is on Christ. The second thing that comes to mind is what he said in the book of Galatians. He said, I am in birth pains until Christ is fully formed in you. Wow. Why does he talk about birth pains? Because that's the most agonizing sort of human experience. Um, that we all understand that. The, the, the birth pains in which a woman brings forth a child, agonizing birth pains. And Paul is saying, I literally agonize a, a kind of birth pains to bring forth a sanctified believer who's like Christ. So you could say the passion of his ministry was the sanctification of his people. He was never content that someone believed that was not enough. He was never content that someone, you know, gathered with the saints. He was never content until Christ was fully formed in that believer. And that was always the objective, to see that believer conform to the image of Jesus Christ. That's the pastor's primary calling, the sanctification of his people.